What's up Vortex Nation? In this video, we're gonna teach you how to connect the AB Kestrel to the Kestrel HUD. We will assume that your Fury AB is already connected to the AB Kestrel. If you have not already watched parts one through three of this tutorial series, there are links to them in the description below. In them, we go over important setup steps you will need to complete before using your Fury AB. If you're unfamiliar with how to connect the Fury AB to an AB Kestrel and have not already watched part five of this series, there's a link to it in the description below as well. After connecting the Fury AB to the AB Kestrel, you can also utilize a Kestrel HUD. This is a fantastic option for nonverbal communication out in the field and will allow you to utilize Kestrel's target card which allows for recording readings for up to 10 target zones. Power on your HUD by holding down the far left button for two seconds. Then press the same button once to open the settings menu. Press the enter key twice to enter a toggleable state on the Bluetooth setting and then use the arrow keys to toggle Bluetooth on. Once it says on, press the enter key once to back out of the toggle state and the power button twice to return to the HUD ballistic screen. Next, go back into the Kestrel's Bluetooth settings and select HUD Connect instead of Device Connect. Select New and your HUD will pop up on the list. Select the HUD and then back out to the main screen of the Kestrel. There should be two Bluetooth icons on the Kestrel screen in the upper right hand corner next to the active profile letter. Now, every time you take a range with the Fury AB, the Kestrel will use its ballistics calculator to solve for your firing solution and push that information to the HUD. If you would like to fill out your target card and display it on your HUD, hold the far right button down for two seconds at a time to switch the active ballistics screen until you reach the target map. With a HUD fresh out of the box, this is the fourth screen. Then, on your Kestrel, from the main screen, arrow down until target card is highlighted. Then, press enter twice, highlight target inputs, and press enter again. To update target information, arrow down so that target A is highlighted, and then take a range with the Fury AB. The range will then update on the third row of the Kestrel screen and push to the HUD. Repeat this process for B through J. One important thing to note, when the Fury AB is tethered to the Kestrel products, the reticle display timeout parameter is always enabled. If the Fury AB times out and auto offs, you will need to reconnect it again from the AB Kestrel's Bluetooth menu. You do not need to pair the Fury AB as a new device each time, just select device connect and wait for the status to read connected. You may also have to repeat this process for HUD Connect to refresh the connection. You are now ready to call the quickest and most accurate corrections possible, all without the shooter ever having to leave their line of sight. If you have any other questions about this process, the Fury AB, or any of our other products, please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments below, on the phone, or on any of our social media. We're always here to help.